usually they fish like right around here. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, good morning, everybody. It has hit 100 this week here in the southeast, multiple days, and they are already jumping out there. We're going to be getting after it, uh, talking about fishing in the heat, fishing in the heat, trying to catch some fish, some tips, tricks, little things I like to do when I am limited to bank fishing during these dog days of summer. Anyhow, let's get that skunk off our backs, and we'll get into it. All right, everybody. The reason I decided to start out here today, well, first off, I am very familiar with this area. I have a good idea how these fish behave when it gets hot. And one feature I really like about this small spot in particular is the stream running through. It just kind of spices things up. Sometimes it can be the difference of catching fish and not catching fish. Highly recommend uh, drainage features, ditches, streams, river mouths, that sort of thing. Uh, feeding your body of water when it is extremely hot out. It can be kind of hard to recognize a pattern when it is this hot these fish are going to be behaving differently a lot easier when you're on a kayak covering a ton of water or uh, by a boat with electronics however we're going to do it from the bank today so good fish there we go little bass aggressive one man i think it hurt all right we're on the scoreboard man Put that skunk off our backs and it looks like it may be a rock bite off that riprap. Thankful for you, you're real tiny. You gotta send your grandmama over here. All right, everybody, our first fish had to show her off, man. Thankful for her. Something's biting, it can be done. Let's get after some bigger ones, my friends. Thank you, girl. That's really no surprise to me that fish was sitting on the rocks. Typically, if you fish these long enough, you're going to catch something, whether it be a bass or a drum. But I have seen a couple blow ups in this area as well, which is a really, really good sign for me that we need to be walking these and working them throughout the area. Now, it is still fairly cool out, so I don't mind walking around a bit, doing a bit of rock hiking. Those early mornings are just super. Uh, crucial for me when it comes to fish and I like to get out at sunrise at typically about 6 I'll fish to you know 10 30 or 11 and then those five hours probably 80% of my catches are in the first two to three hours the low light I mean it's always a always a good time to catch them but in this area I find about about 9 a.m. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. that bites just on fire so we just made a complete jump, probably about 15 minutes after catching that initial bass. I worked the rock for a little bit. The bite just wasn't what I thought it would be over there. I uh, figured if they are on the rocks, which I'm really hoping they will be today, typically if you fish rocks long enough, you're gonna catch them. But this side might be better for it. That's kind of what I'm going for. The plan of attack is really slowly fishing the area with this Helgramite. The way it's built uh, on a 1 8 ounce jig head, it still has a fairly slow fall rate and uh, it just gets hit. And while we're working the rock, um, I'm going to be utilizing that tube. I can jig it fairly fast, kind of mimic a uh, bait fish, craw, whatever. Right, we're going to hop over here and just lightly hit this line of bank before starting to work this. Those early mornings are just so crucial for me that I feel like I'm burning daylight when I'm not covering ground before it's too hot out. I'd say the three best times, in my opinion, to catch fish in this heat are during or after rain, which we haven't had in over a week and a half now. Early, early mornings, then the first two hours of sunrise or the evenings, which can be unbearable sometimes it's so hot out it doesn't cool down all that much there are a lot of snags in this area so i just wanted to hit it fairly briefly pick up anything that might be sitting off this riprap 
Usually they fish like right around here. Oh. Yep. That's like a drone. Oh no, it's a nut. Oh. Oh buddy, you're a daymaker. Okay. Maintain tension on this line. I can't really flip him. Oh. Beautiful fish, man. Okay, maybe we'll work this bank a little bit longer. Look at that fish. You need a cameo, my friend. Just gonna shake one in me. I mean, that's a nice fish right there. All right, my friends, look at her. Just a thick, nice, healthy bass. I am so, this just is a spirit booster, man. On a day like this, this is a fish to truly be thankful for. I'm gonna get her back in right quick. We're gonna work that bank a little bit more and then probably hop over here. Um, just crush that tube right where I thought a fish might be chilling. All right, girl, thank you so much for biting. I almost didn't hit that bank too. Sometimes there's real nice ones in there. You know, oh, you're ready to go. A very snaggy area. Let's hop over there. All right, everybody, we're on that riprap. We just caught that beautiful fish off of it. Very, very snaggy. I have to be kind of careful. I really probably expect to lose a couple tubes here, but if we get another one like that, it'll be worth it. I do have to check that line. A break off would be heartbreaking. When it's this hot out, man, and the bite's so uh, unpredictable, confidence in my bait is extremely important to me i want a bait that i know is going to get hit so for me it's going to be a two to three inch popping type bait something naturally colored so today we went with the uh, 2.75 inch strike king tube and on my other rod i got a helgramite tied on with a 1 8 ounce jig head so something with a slower fall rate and something oops with a bit quicker fall rate something i can really work like this and it's something i can Work a little bit slower. I don't really change too much about my uh, fishing in general, my techniques, that sort of thing. Uh, when it comes down to it, strategy is more so the planning of how my day is going to go, where I'm going to fish in the first place, the time I'm going to hit it, baits I'm going to use. That's kind of where the major changes are for me. My bait selection for the day probably would have picked something different in different conditions, but I know I can really, really rely on both of these baits to catch a wide variety of fish. Good fish. Decent. Oh, stay down. not taking any chances with you yeah. barely had her tucked either getting bigger getting bigger that's something that's something to be thankful for oh we had her pretty good sick out of you decent i mean i'm taking anything willing to bite today this uh, bite is a little tougher than I anticipated. Got to be thankful for what we can get on, though. Thank you for biting, my friend. All right, guys, we made a quick jump down to the river. It is just getting too hot out there. I got some shade here. So look at this, man. We have so many mayflies down here. I uh, just walked through a couple of those trees and the swarm was ridiculous. I almost packed up and left, but this might be a good sign for the area. These fish might be beating up on these bugs. <sighs> Probably do a whole mini series on bank fish in the river, rivers in general. But in a nutshell, we're just sticking with areas I'm really, really confident about. I'm gonna fish stacked up eating these flies. Good 
good fish. Oh, All right, that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. We're always running it through the rocks. Running it through the rocks. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for one of y'all. Beautiful. Look at the coloring. I love when they look like that. That gold color, man. Probably munching these flies, aren't you? Pretty freshwater drum. Got a nice little amber coloring to it. Real purpley too. There we go, guys. That's a nice fish. That's something a little different. Three species today. I'll take it. Try to catch another one. Uh, I've got a little bit of time out here. Alright, let's get you back in. Now, I guess the best way I could explain to y'all how many of these bugs are out here, how many of these flies are out here. Take a look at this, man. A little shaky, shaky. Walking through those trees, it was like a biblical swarm, man. It was wild. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a great time making this one as always. So it was tough, man. Times are tough when it gets that hot. We had a hundred degree weather multiple days in a row. I filmed this about a week and a half ago here in middle Tennessee and it was just outrageously hot out in my area. Uh, hard to be outside at some points. After catching those first couple fish, man, the temperature just spiked and it got uh, almost unbearable to stand outside. So I had to kind of retreat to that shady area in the river. However, we caught some fish, got it done. I'm pretty happy with how well it actually worked out for me out there. Now, the Strike King Bitsy Tube, just my go-to summer confidence bait. Really, really pulled it off, came in clutch like it always does for me. That's why I love it so much. There's a 2.75 inch uh, tube right here. And we were throwing that natural green pumpkin looking color. Water clarity was pretty good. It hasn't rained in a minute out here, man. We need rain so badly. I'm filming this a week and a half, two weeks in the future right now. We still haven't had rain. Our water levels are absurdly low right now. Uh, I like to rig that bait with a Eagle Claw tube head jig. One eighth ounce. They both come in a 10 pack. It's like a match made in heaven right there. Now the runner up. I didn't show this bait as much love in this video because once I found some that worked, I wasn't too keen on switching up what I was doing. However, that Yum Helgramite, I absolutely love this bait. I am quite fond of it. I have fished on the channel a few different times. I do want to do a more in-depth video with it. Uh, however, didn't give it as much love in this video, so I'm not going to go too deep on this bait. This is the color we we're throwing though. It's really, really neat. It is Northern Lights. I also like the Copper Creek I have right here. It's like a dark brown back. Uh, for more heavily stained water, a glittery belly. And I actually picked up one not too long ago. I haven't really thrown it too much. I did catch a couple fish on it. This one's kind of out there. It is Bubblegum Lemon Swirl. Look at that. It's like a trippy kind of tie-dye, orangey, I don't know, bubblegum lemon swirl. <laughs> Anyhow, guys. I do love the Helgramites, man. They got an awesome wiggle, an awesome fall rate. I'm really, really fond of it. Not the most durable bait. I gotta say it's heavily lacking in the durability department, at least the way I would like to rig it on a 1 8 ounce jig head. Uh, all in all, decent day out there. It was extremely hot, however. Temperatures decreased a little bit. And we shot right back up into the 90s this week. Got a couple cool videos coming out. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Had a great time making it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And get some good fish on, my friends. Peace.